Hi, I'm Andrew with Flair, and today I want to talk to you about the various ways that you can fill the chamber on the 58 and the 58X for brewing. Around the end of 2021, we introduced the valve plunger. This was designed to simplify the workflow and allow you to fill the chamber without having to remove and reinstall the stem between pours. It's a slightly more hands-off approach to brewing, but it also opens the doors to experimentation with different ratios and yields beyond what a single fill of the chamber can facilitate. That said, some might still prefer the original method. Those people probably fall into two camps. The person that is using an ultra low dose in a deep basket, leaving themselves with quite a bit of headspace that needs to be filled, or the person that is running this on high in an attempt to have as much thermal energy in the brew head as possible going into the brewing process. Low doses and deeper baskets leave you a lot of headspace that needs to be filled in later. Headspace is that air pocket that sits above the tamped coffee bed and below the plunger. When you go to fill this chamber, first you'll be filling up the space above the plunger, and then when you get the plunger to the top, you need to top off and fill that volume of air that you had below with water. For this reason, we recommend that you use an appropriately sized basket for your desired dose, just to simplify the brewing process. For the system to maintain a water column temperature of 95 degrees Celsius or 204 Fahrenheit, the setting that high is targeting on your temperature controller, the metal itself will need to be several degrees hotter than that. That means if you're using water in the kettle that is close to 95 degrees Celsius or 204 Fahrenheit and you add it to that hotter metal, you might experience a mild flash boil event. This is more so the case for those people that are not living at sea level or brewing at sea level. Your water is boiling at some temperature less than 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Running your cylinder on high and then adding water to the system that is slightly cooler than the temperature of the metal will cause air bubbles to form as that water hits the hot metal and flash boils. These air bubbles will be trying to escape through the very small opening between the plunger and the stem that you're also trying to get water through, creating interference. We recommend that you use the medium preheat setting and set your kettle to some temperature slightly above your target. That way through thermal equilibrium, you will get to your desired brewing temperature and avoid this phenomenon altogether. Let's start with the original workflow. With the lever up, remove the hook, pull the stem out with a quarter turn, grab your water and pour right through the center. Keep pouring until you see the water getting into the well to let me know that I've replaced all the air inside the system with water. And when we're done, pop it back in in reverse direction, drop the hook, connect to it, and you're ready to pull. Before lowering the lever though, make sure that the hook is seated flush on the crossbar of the stem. Failure to do so before you start to pull might cause the stem guider to catch on the rim of the cylinder. But even if that doesn't happen, at some point, while that lever is under force, that hook is going to shift inward to grab that crossbar. And when that happens, you're going to feel that reverberate through the lever. You're also going to hear a clack or a thud. And now let's run through the valve workflow. So with the lever down, we're going to fill that chamber all the way up until the water reaches the rim. And then once there, we stop and we lift that lever up just enough to get a few milliliters down into the headspace and then go all the way up. And from here, we'll go ahead and fill through that little opening as the stem got pulled back and up. It opened up a little bit larger for us, so it's easier to fill. And we'll just fill until the water hits the well there. That way we know that we've got a full chamber of water and not any air inside. We can go ahead and push that in and commence the shot. You may have noticed that I didn't install the silicone funnel that shipped with your 58. It's a safeguard just to make sure you don't have any spillover, but if you follow the procedure I just demonstrated, you likely won't need it. Which fill method you choose is entirely up to you. There's no right or wrong answer. It's going to come down to preferences, circumstances, and perhaps the equipment you have on hand. We hope this demonstration was helpful and that it answers any questions that you may have had about filling the chambers on the 58 and 58X with the valve plungers. But if you still have remaining questions or concerns, please reach out to us at flareespresso.com slash contact. We'd love to get you the answers you need. And as always, thanks for watching and thanks for brewing with us. And we'll see you in the next video.